Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to explain to you what is a binary system and why computers use binary system. Let us start with this simple story. We have two people, Mike and John. Mike buys milk from John and every day in the morning John uses his boat and he takes with him several cans of milk to Mike. The problem is that John wants to know how many cans of milk that he will take in his boat every day. Mike come up with this idea to let John know how many cans of milk he needs in the morning. He said that I'm gonna use torch. Mike asked John to look over from his island uh, in the night at this torch. If this torch is off, that means Mike doesn't need any can of milk. But if that one was on, that means John have to bring one can of milk with him and if Mike's want for example let's say two he will make this fire bigger so instead of this one he's gonna make it like this one and if he wants three he will make it even bigger John wasn't happy with this idea why because it's gonna be difficult for him to distinguish between these states when a state is the size of the fire is it normal is it large is it very large especially if there is wind at that night. So mainly the issue that John is facing is that this system have many states and it's very difficult for John to distinguish between these states. He will make mistakes, for example, instead of consider this one two, maybe he consider this one as three. Not only this, if they want to extend the system to include, for example, four, that means they have to make this fire larger. If they want to extend it to to include five, they even have to make it larger. And this is not a practical because we're gonna have many states. And as I said, John will have difficulty to distinguish between these states. So John asked Mike to come up with another idea. And Mike came up with another interesting idea. He told John is that he's gonna use two torches. And he asked John to look on the night at these torches. If both of them off, that means John doesn't want milk. But if the first one on and the second one off, that means he needs one can of milk. If the second one's on and the first one off, that means Mike wants two cans of milk. And if both of them on, that means Mike wants three cans of milk. John was very happy with this system. Why? Because John have only to distinguish between two states, whether it's on and off. That's it. He doesn't have to deal with many states and the size of the fires. And then they agreed about this table. They said we're going to have this table. And if both of them off, this is a present zero. If all of them on, this is a present three. Off on one, on off two. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to replace these torches with zero or one. If the torch is off, I'm going to replace it with zero. If it's on, I'm going to replace it with one. Something like this just to simplify this table. Actually, this system consists of only two states, either zero or one, on or off. This is why we call it binary system. The good thing about the system is that you can extend it easily. For example, if Mike wants to represent numbers more than three, he can add another torch. Instead of using two, he used three torches. And the table is gonna change, right? Because now we have three torches, we have more combinations. If all of them off, that's the present zero. If all of them on, that's the present seven. If this is off and this one off and this one on, this represent one and so on. So by adding another torch, what happened? We have more combinations and we can represent more numbers. In this case, I can represent till seven. This system, as I told you, consists of only two states with the zero and one, we call it binary system. And this system is good for computers because at the end of the day, computers can represent these on and off by using switches. So you can consider the computer as a collection of switches. If the switch is on, this will represent one. If the switch is off, this will represent zero. And in this case, we have three switches. And as I told you that, we can extend this one easily. So we start with two switches. We can represent four combinations. 
based on this rule 2 to the power number of switches number of switches 2 to the power 2 we have 4 combinations if I add another switch 2 to the power number of switches which is 2 to the power 3 we have 8 combinations if I want to represent more numbers bigger than 7 I add another switch if I have 4 switches 2 to the power 4 we have 16 combinations I can represent number from 0 to 15 and can even extend it more if I have only 32 switches I can represent more than 4 billion numbers you see we can extend even to represent bigger numbers and that's the beauty of this system there is more advantages about the systems which I'm going to talk about in my next slide so I'm going to just do analogy between real life and computers so if you remember John when we have only two states he was happy because he can he said I can easily distinguish between these two states right but when we add multiple states he have a challenge oh the computer is the same thing at the end of the day computer is electronic device digital electronic device right we use voltages to represent the zero and one if the voltage is zero this one can represent the zero and we can choose certain value of the voltage depends on the design let's say it's V to represent one and we can say this if the value of the voltage is between 50% and 100% this represents one less than 50% till 0% that represent zero so we have only two states and the good thing about this binary system is this if we add noise okay that means this value is reduced by a certain value right in this case I choose 30% so instead of the value was 100% because of the noise this one is reduced to 70% we still in the safe side the computer will consider this one as one and it's one just because of the noise it's reduced to 70% not only this if the noise was big 41% less than the actual value we still consider this one as one so this system not sensitive to noise even if there is noise it's still working because we have only two states but imagine that we have many states John faces the challenge to distinguish between these states which is the size of the files the computers is going to face the same challenge if you have many states in this case I have five and each value will represent a range or percentage of that voltage right for example from 80% and above represent 4 60% till 80% represent three and so on we can do that the problem is this if we have noise and that value reduced from 100 to 70 percent you know what's going to happen the computer is going to consider that value which is supposed to be four as a three in the previous systems even the noise was 41 percent but things works fine without any problems here in this one the noise reduced the value by 30 percent instead of the four the computer considered this one as 3 imagine that the noise was bigger and it's 41 percent instead of consider this the value as 4 it's gonna consider the value as what as 2 this is why the computer is crying so having many states is problematic because the the system will be very sensitive to noise and become unreliable system so having two states it's better than having many states because the system that we designed based on two states is not sensitive to noise compared with the system which is based on many states just to summarize we start with the idea of having many states then we face challenge which is it's very difficult to distinguish more than two states the binary system is a system where the numbers are expressed in form of what zero and ones and why we are using this binary system for the computer it's very simple it's easy to distinguish between two states also we can easily extend that system as we saw before we can extend it even to include more than four billion numbers also very important thing is that from digital electronic point of view it's easy to implement and distinguish two states thank you for watching i hope that you enjoyed my video if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and drop a like on this video.